Hello there, YouTube. This is your boy Kitty Throw HD Gaming coming at you live with the new vendor reset for the week. Let's start with the White House vendor. Uh, mechanical animal. I wouldn't get unless you already unless you don't have it because it does not have good rolls. I would max out the assault rifle damage uh, with optimizing, and then change the attribute to damage the target out of cover or something. Or damaged armor, and then health damage is just going to be the one that's going to take forever. Um, this one's not bad, but I wouldn't run opportunistic on a uh, skill medical build. Because this, this is a repair build. This would go on a repair build. I mean, it's not bad to have hit chance and hit damage. Um, I mean, I would, put, I, I would keep hit chance, hit damage max out one of them and then optimize the other and then put a repair skill mod on and then you can hit hard and have still the 20 repair skill um, and then you get 20 repair if you have two and then you can also run like a turret or uh, or a drone because the skill duration lasts is 20 percent longer too this is a guarantee a uh, good one uh, max out armor already and then uh, max out hit chance and then hit damage you just uh, slowly optimize and then overwatch is not a bad talent if you like to p play from the back or help out teams that's actually in my opinion a must buy this could be a must buy too if you change the talent Glad we got that let's go to the over here now Do, 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 do. Let's see. Yeah, if it wasn't so much, it didn't cost fifteen thousand. I would definitely buy the the rest I need to get my proficiency done. Same for this one. This is a must buy right here. Great for any skill build. Especially if you run the Seeker Mind skill build. Um, change explosive resistance to um, skill haste. And keep skill damage like it is. Uh, just optimize it. And it has glass cannon for you. That's perfect. And of course 12% when 13 is the max. That's got to suck. You got a lot of money, buy a bunch of these and deconstruct them and you get printer fil filament. Thanks for the business agent. That would be it here. Do I got any caches here? No, I don't. Okie dokie. Let's go to the theater settlement. It's a pleasure to see you. Mm. Do, 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 do. If you want to run a hit chance, hit dam damage skill build, Wyvernware right here is a guarantee buy. You get your skill damage from the uh, brand set bonus and then change health to hit chance and then max out hit damage later. It's actually not bad. I might actually buy that one. For one of my builds, you know what? Forget it. I'll buy it right now, actually. Okie dokie. Next area will be. Uh, I'll do the uh, dark zone, and then I'll go down to the uh, castle settlement. Do 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 do. Soviets in danger. I don't think I have a lot of Dark Zone currency though right now, if I'm correct. So I don't think I'm going to be able to buy anything if they do have anything. And I forgot to do the White House uh, countdown vendor. I'll, I'll head back to that when I'm done with Castle. Always happy to Claws see out. Agents. You're always going to have the max 500 and max 9. You change the health to whatever you want. Hit chance, hit damage, whatever. Um, 
since it's a skill, since the health is not, since it's health, you would want to change the health to something more reliable. But if that health was like hit chance, hit damage, or whatever else, I would have changed the core attribute to uh, weapon damage. But since the core attribute is going to stay as a skill tier, in my opinion, I would change health to a skill and use that on a pistol skill build. So when you're using like the shit, the single shield. That's just me though. Nothing else is useful here. So Thanks for doing let's go to the castle settlement. I always could get confused here, so bear with me. Castle settlement's still a little confusing to me. I don't even go to it much, even with all the new stuff. I, I would go to castle a lot more if the White House wasn't taken back. But, I mean, what was the point of making the castle such a big settlement? Like the White House. If you're gonna still have the White House. That did confuse me. Hey, I'm going the wrong way. It's the season board. I think it's over here. I hate how I get confused here. Okay, I ran on the total wrong side. They added a lot of buildings inside the castle settlement too, if we're gonna be honest. That's right here. What? Huh? Um, huh? Right? It says no, L what? What's, what? Okay, vendor is currently bugged. You cannot go to the vendor on either side of the castle. Not even the NSA one is working. And I don't even have all the NSA ones. That's... What? Okay. Maybe I'll check back later. That's weird. Let's go to this Dark Zone one. That was really weird. How it's bugged out. You know you want to take a look. Oh, look at that. Dark Winter. No one has it. And if I'm correct, the Dark Winter is a DZ exclusive. Not great rolls, though. I mean, if you want to run a hit damage build, there you go. Because you're going to max out the SMG damage. That would take too long to optimize and too much resources. So I'll max that out and then crit hit damage will get, you know, the treatment of uh, optimizing. You're just going to have to deal with it. I think some of these DZ ones would have some good stuff in it. At least one a week should have something good in it, but like, dang. It's like nothing good. Last week had nothing really good in it. That, oh, well, actually, take that back. They did have the Yaw, I think. The Yaw mask. I think that was from the DZ one. That one was good. I think it was the Yaw mask. I, I can't remember. Yeah, just give us two back-to-back -back weapons with Eyeless, right? It's wonderful. Nothing here either. So not only do we have a bugged-out vendor and a bugged-out NSA vendor, but we also have literally nothing good almost out of all the vendors so far. 
There's like only like maybe two buys that I can see so far in my opinion. At least for me, maybe for other people there there's obviously more. Hello agent. It's nothing I can do like why what's wrong with well, here's another yaw gear if you want a yaw gear, but this has terrible attributes. I mean, terrible attributes. Your best bet is to take the yaw gear, get the hazard protection, change the core armor to skill tier, and then keep repair and status effect and run a repair status build. That's literally your best bet, to be honest. So that, that I'm being dead serious. I might screen. just buy it and just say forget about it. <laughs> I might actually do that. I don't know. If I can find a way to make a build like that, I might buy it. Let's go back to the White House so I can show you the countdown vendor. I haven't played countdown recently due to the fact that there's been way too buggy for me. It crashed my game, freeze, whatever stuff. Kind of crazy. But out of this one, what I would get is the door kick, uh, kicker's knock. I would definitely get this one. And then change explosive resistance to hit damage. And then optimize the rest. And then with that uh, talent, what I would run is a hybrid build. A hybrid skilled build. Hit chance, hit damage build, and run turret and um, uh, turret and the uh, what is it called? The striker drone, because the striker drone and turret, as long as they're doing damage, you're gonna be constantly getting 15% weapon damage for 20 seconds, because there's no cooldown. So that'd be really good. That that would be really good, and you get the uh, critical hit damage too. That, that's really good, in my opinion. Really good. That's a must buy. I'm actually going to buy, if I get to play Countdown multiple times, I'm actually going to buy multiple of these so I can get the proficiency leveled up quicker. Because honestly, that's going to be a, uh, I, it's going to be a, um, a long one to get done with the optimizing for sure. Um, I already got the vendor for the, uh, Cassie Mendoza, but it doesn't open up until 12 hours and 32 minutes. Uh, I found mine over here when I was uh, right here. Yeah, I was right here, I think. No, my bad, I was right here. I was going to get the components uh, over here, and then I end up running into him over here, surprisingly. No, I don't normally find them over here, too. That's the funny part. I don't normally find them over there. But yeah. Let's go to the, actually the White House and not White House. I mean to the Haven settlement and see what they have over here. And that will be it for this video. Doing a better job on these videos. I get them out and then um, they're pretty short now. 15 minutes at most. Safe area entered. Hey there, you got something to trade? Nothing. Jeez. Nothing. How about over here? Hey, agent, you doing all right? Hey, agent. Uh, nothing. Well, that one's not bad if, oh, never mind, the talent's terrible and you would want to change out the weapon handling, so yeah, never mind. Uh, honestly, everything's bad here, but I am going to buy some of these weapons, though, so I can get my proficiency done. I need to get 10 of these. Or actually, eleven. One, you sure you can carry two, all that? Three, four, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, now once you get the job done. Two, three, four. I'll just Thanks. do those for right now. I don't want to waste all the damn money I have. Okay. Let's go back to the White House. Okie dokie. Well, that will be it for this video. This is your boy Kirito HD Gaming. Signing off. Hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, and hope you found everything very, uh, I guess, good and uh, in depth on what you should buy and what you shouldn't. In my opinion, there wasn't a lot you could get. Um, and um, I will try to see if that vendor over there at the castle settlement starts working, but at the moment, it's not. So, at the moment, there's nothing to buy over there. So see ya and peace.